Where the heck is the Soul Stone? We've laid eyes on five of the six cosmic Moncala beads known as the Infinity Stones so far. But the Soul Stone is the one exception, and it could be the biggest threat of them all, but we've yet to see it on the big screen. Everyone and their mom, sorry Peter Quill, has a theory as to where this powerful MacGuffin is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and here are the best ones. Strap on your tinfoil hats, because we're about to get weird. Superheroes in New York, Kimmy. Before we do, tell us, where do you think the Soul Stone is hiding? The Thanos Theory. This common fan theory posits that the objects that house the Infinity Stones are a subtle acronym that spells out Thanos. This leaves H, which could be Heimdall, Idris Elba's Asgardian Guardian, the heart-shaped herb in Wakanda, or him, the original name of Adam Warlock. Which do you think is most likely? The Nebula Theory. Posited by Redditor Thunderman175, this is similar to the Thanos theory, but argues slightly different lettering. That brings us to N, which our intrepid theorist claims stands for Nebula. Would Thanos sacrifice his own daughter Nebula to get at the Soul Stone? I'm gonna go with probably. Thanks, Stan. Sounds fair. The Hulk Theory. These days, the biggest source of movie spoilers before they come out is toy sets, and the Infinity War Lego sets were chock full of them. The Hulkbuster smash-up set features Bruce Banner, a buildable Hulkbuster armor that he's definitely gonna pilot, Falcon, an Outrider, and one of Thanos' lieutenants, Proxima Midnight. Oh yeah, it also features the freaking Soul Stone. Could that mean that the age in the Thanos theory stands for Hulk? The Gamora Theory. This tender shot of a young Gamora holding onto Thanos' giant finger in the trailer led some fans to believe that in order to access the Soul Stone's true power, Thanos would have to sacrifice and murder his favorite daughter Gamora, thus trapping her soul inside of the pocket dimension inside of the Soul Stone. If this happens, it could make for one hell of a motivator for Nebula and the rest of the Guardians to kick Thanos' big purple butt. It's really Thanos I need to kill. The Heimdall Theory. One of the most popular theories is that Heimdall, the all-seeing, all-hearing Asgardian who guarded the Bifrost Bridge to Asgard, possesses the Soul Stone. That could explain his orange eyes, and it could also explain why he could see everything, everywhere, including all the souls in the Nine Realms. Is Heimdall gonna survive Infinity War? I don't know. The Tony Stark Theory. While we know that Tony Stark's newest Iron Man suit is his Bleeding Edge armor, what if it was also the Soul Stone? This theory is mainly the result of a leaked piece of Infinity War promo art from Reddit that associated Tony with the Soul Stone. While the rest of the stones on that poster felt pretty accurate to the heroes they're associated with, something about this just doesn't smell right. And that's coming from me, a guy with no sense of smell. The Wakanda Theory. This theory posits that the Soul Stone is in the most profitable country in the MCU. If that's true, it could explain a number of things about Black Panther. It could be the site where that vibranium meteor crashed, the Soul Stone might be connected to the heart-shaped herb, but Killmonger kinda took care of that aspect for us. More realistically though, the Avengers are going to head to Wakanda so they can keep the vision and the Mind Stone embedded in his forehead safe from Thanos' soldiers. The Norway Theory. Norway has slowly and quietly become kind of important in the MCU. It's in Iron Man 2, it's in Thor Ragnarok. When we see Odin die, he's able to still manifest in Thor's dreams and in visions. And this theory suggests that's because perhaps Odin didn't really die. Rather, the Soul Stone absorbed his soul. But when you consider this scene originally took place in a New York City alleyway and was only changed by director Taika Waititi as the result of test screenings, this theory loses more steam than an old-timey train in a jacuzzi. Hope in a hot tub. The Lost in Time Theory. What if the reason we haven't seen the Soul Stone yet is because it's been displaced from time? This theory puts forth the idea that Doctor Strange's Eye of Agamotto and the Time Stone within it will be the keys to finding the sixth and final Infinity Stone. Based on the trailers, some fans believe the Soul Stone could be on a past version of Thanos' extinct homeworld of Titan, the spot where he's seen fighting several Avengers in the trailer. Why is Titan uninhabited though? Maybe because the Soul Stone consumed the souls of every last person there. The you've gotta be kidding me theory. This one is one of my favorites because it states that Infinity War is gonna be all about Thanos trying to acquire the five Infinity Stones we've actually seen so far. The Soul Stone would maybe make an appearance in a post credit scene during Infinity War and would become the MacGuffin of the time travel caper that we all believe Avengers 4 will be. The Russo brothers have been teasing us for a while now that the title of Avengers 4 would scare us, so perhaps it could be related to a battle for the souls of dead Avengers who perish during Infinity War. What do you think of this? Balls 
ballsy move or a Luke Skywalker sized disappointment? And there you have it, basically every theory for where the hell the Soul Stone could be anyway. But tell me, which of these theories do you think will come true? What would you add to our list? Like and share this video, tag your Infinity Stone obsessed pals, and hit us up with your best theory in the comments below. And until the next time you're willing to risk it all so you can bedazzle a giant gold glove, stay tuned to Nerdist.com. I'll do it myself.